Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about items and how you can use items in your experiences. They're very easy to implement and definitely make your experiences much more interactive. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on create experience. Now I'm just going to quickly set up our main character scene here. So at the top we'll say something like item scenes. We'll add a character. Maybe I'll type in something like acorn because I know that there's a good acorn that I like, this salutation. And then there are two types of item scenes, so we're going to add two buttons. So the first type of item scene that I'm going to talk about is the give item scene. And so let's quickly add that by clicking on add new and then clicking on give item scene. Let's make sure the button is linked up. So a give item scene is really just made of an item and then this button down here is mainly for the user. You can't do anything with this button. It's going to ask you what item you want to give. So when we click on the empty space here, you'll see that a menu has popped up and you can see all of the items that you have uploaded. There are no community items like there are characters. You actually have to upload each individual item as an image yourself. Don't worry about item sets. This actually isn't used in Metaverse anymore, but we have this option here. I recommend you just ignore it. So click on new at the top right of the item menu to upload an item. Then you just upload an image to use. I have an image on my desktop called gold coin that I'm going to be using. So we'll open that. I'll say gold coin. And then you can add a short description if you like and add some tags. I'm going to leave those blank for now and we're going to click create item here. So now you'll see the gold coin has appeared and that's all there is to it. Let's make sure we have our transition set back to our main menu. The second type of item scene I'm going to talk about is a request item scene. So what we're going to be doing here is actually asking for this coin back. So let's go ahead and add a request item scene into our storyboard. Now, I wanna show you something that's common practice. It's not necessarily mandatory to do this, but it is a good idea to check to make sure that the user actually has this item, otherwise they'll get stuck on this request item scene. In order to do that, we're going to actually add a block from the inventory section. It's the only block in there and it's called has item. So we're gonna add this block right before the request item scene and this is actually just going to check to make sure that they have the item before we go ahead and request the item. So let's go ahead and link the button to that block and then we have to select the item in both the scene and the block. Let's start off with the scene. If you see, you click on select item from the bottom of the scene, and then you can see that there's a button that says set item. If we click on that, you'll see all of the items that you've uploaded. You can also search for your item. So I'm gonna type in coin because mine was gold coin, and here's my gold coin. So now we need to do the same thing for the block but this time we're gonna click on find. So when we click on find, we're then taken to our menu where you can see all of the items you've uploaded. So we can also use the search bar here, coin, and there is our gold coin. We'll click add item. So now it's going to check to make sure that we have that coin in the inventory before we request this. So you'll see that has item actually has two transitions for has item and does not have item. So if it doesn't have an item, you can actually lead them to a scene that says, you don't have this item, come back when you have the item. So let's go ahead and do that. On has item, we're going to link directly to the request item scene. And on does not have item, we're going to add another character scene that says you don't have the item. I'll put this directly underneath and we will link does not have item to it. Let's just change the characters up a little bit here so they're not all the same. We've got acorn, so we're gonna use this salutation thank you one, and then we're going to use a megaphone one for the does not have item. So we'll say, you do not have this item. Come back when you get it. Now we'll add a button that says back to menu and we will link that back to our main menu up here. And then if they do have the item, they're gonna be taken to the request item scene and we will just have a transition. Now the transition is actually 
on the item. So if you click on the item, you can find the transition. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and end the experience. And there we have it. Let's quickly review what we just learned. So there are two types of scenes and one block that has to do with items. There's the give item scene, which gives the item and places it in the user's inventory. The user can then view their inventory from the Metaverse mobile app to see if they have the item. And then we have a request item scene that actually asks for this item back. So the request item scene takes that item out of the user's inventory. And then before that, we're using a has item block to check to make sure that they actually have the item before we get to this request item scene. If they do have the item, they go to this scene. If they don't, they go to another scene that says, come back when you find this item. So that's it. Let's go ahead and publish our experience. We'll call this tutorial item scenes. Click publish. And now we have our QR code. Feel free, I'm gonna make this a little larger. Feel free to scan this QR code and test out this experience for yourself. I hope you learned a lot about how you can use items in your experiences and we will see you next time.